Okay, today we're going to take a look at the Pure Pleasure QD K11D warm mattress, electric mattress. Um, it's a queen size, only one side has been used. It's been bought this season actually. Um, it's easy to see which, which side was used. So obviously the one with the cord that's loose. So if we plug in the cord that was not used, and we switch it on, we can see the little light lights up. If we do the same for the other side, switch it on, no light. So we're going to open the control module and see what we can see inside. Okay, we opened up the cover and it's a very, very simple circuit. It's got the selector switch that basically just moves these contacts over here. So the life in the neutral comes on here and then the contacts move the link between those two or those two or those two on both sides at the same time. Now we can see the live and neutral comes in here at the middle. It's quite easy. The live comes on this little track here and it just connects to the big connector here through this fuse. And then the neutral goes up all the way there, connects through this white thing. I have no idea what the hell it is. This is between the two resistors. And then it goes down all the way to connect through this link onto this side. Okay, the unit is plugged in. To test now, there should be 220 volt across here, which we see there isn't. It's only 33.1 volts. So now we know the life coming in here goes through the fuse onto that point. So if you put it on the neutral and test on both sides of the fuse, if we get the same voltage on both sides of the fuse, we know the fuse is fine. Now this neutral side goes up through this white thing here, yeah, then through this link connecting to here. So we can go backwards on the, on the circuit. There's nothing. There's the same voltage. There's the same voltage. Now, when we get on the other side of this white thing, we get 235 volts. So that means this white thing is blown. I will have to scratch off that goo there and see what it is so we can replace it. Okay, I scratched off the white goo on this thing. I don't think you'll be able to see it, but it is rated at 102 degrees centigrade. That means this is obviously a thermal cutout switch. So whenever um, it reaches a certain temperature, it blows and protects the rest of the of the blanket. Um, so that is what's what's gone on here. You probably have to buy a new one. Luckily for us, we've got the other side to get one out. Um, so I'm going to just take the one from the other side and put it in here, and then it should work fine. Okay. So this is the one that has not been used ever. I took the thermal cut, cut out out there and I soldered it into the one that was broken. Um, so we're just going to put this one back together again, plug it in and see if it works. Okay, so both closed now again. Plug in this one. See, there you go. Three, two, one, all of them working. Thanks for watching.